Back to my YouTube channel, I'm Lauren Rippon and I am a initially a weight loss blogger and vlogger and I am now doing more lifestyle stuff. So, I've been asked so many times how I curl my hair and um, I don't really have a set way of doing it but here I'm just going to show you a really quick five minute tutorial as to how I do my hair if I'm just doing it worthy for the daytime. Right, so the um, tongue that I use is the Diva Professional and this is the 32mm one. Um, they do a few different widths but this is a nice chunky uh, barrel with a clip on it and I really really like it. So what I'm going to do is just first of all just where my hair naturally parts which is just kind of slightly off centre. I don't make it straight because I just, I, I don't know, I just flick my hair about all day anyway. And I take just a small section. Don't worry about your sections being even or anything like that and I just literally put it in from above and twist it round and away and I leave that end bit out and then if I want to just do a double back on myself I then curl it backwards and that bit just falls and just brush it through like so now you can, it depends on the level of curl that you're wanting, but this for me is an absolutely amazing tongue. Now, sometimes in the daytime, literally, I'll just curl that front section and that's all I do. And I, I'm really happy with it just like that. And then I just go through and just literally select a section. Now, can you see what I'm doing here? The section is longer going down than it is at the top. So it's quite narrow, but then quite long going down. And then I take my tongue in above going down and twist away from the face and I always keep it at the root twist it around just let just I'm slightly pressing the clippy bit and then again I'm just leaving this end bit out and then let it go twirl it around let it cool and then just brush it through with my fingers now sometimes as I say, I might just do the front section. Sometimes when I'm going out, I'll, I will section my hair half and half. So I'll do this bit first and then the top bit. But it's not always necessary. It really does depend on your hair. I'm very lucky in that I've got quite thick hair. Um, so I only need to put a little bit of a bend in it and it stays really well. And then occasionally I'll blast some things through it. I'm just going to grab something. This is a Mark Hill Effortless, Effortless Undone Spray. This was um, in the clearance section of Boots. So I don't know if you can still get it. But anything like dry shampoo or something that's not got too much stick to it. I just blast it upwards into my hair. And it just makes it nice and bouncy and just gives it that little bit of a, a hold. So I hope you've enjoyed this. This kind of shows you how I do it generally for the daytime if I'm, if I'm curling it. And I'm just gonna go over and do the other hat side now. So again, I'm going in, twisting away at the root. It's all going away from the face. I think the key thing with this is just get yourself a decent tongue. I mean, there's loads out there. I've got this on the hottest setting, which is 210. You don't need to have it on the hottest setting. In fact, I actually went to a training course one where they said um, it was a babyliss training course and they actually said the optimum temperature for, for all curling ideally was 175 um, and I know a lot of people blast the temperature up because I think it's going to last and hold a lot better but I'm just going to give that a blast. And there you have it, easy daytime waves in five minutes.